Downtown and Chinatown businesses are still reeling from prolonged power outages earlier this month. Now looking to bounce back and recover their losses, businesses today got some help from the Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Hawaiian Electric. Alina Lee has more. These forms may be the solution downtown and Chinatown businesses need after losing hundreds and thousands of dollars. The cost we, we spend every day at least of six to eight hundred for a day for the rent and unit salary. Yeah, on average, including the rent loss, is about $300 per day. So four days is like $1,200. Shop owners finding time to fill out claims as they recover from not one, but two power outages that put them out of business for days. Those who don't speak English also getting help. The Chinese merchants, especially the ones living from hand to mouth, who don't understand English, they are afraid to fill out these forms because they don't know how to fill it out. That's our role. We have Vietnamese speaking also today. We can translate to our merchants and so they can have a better understanding whether they can file or whether they will get anything back at all. HECO executives say as of Friday, 150 claims were filed. It's staff there to clarify how business owners can substantiate their claims with the proper documents. What we usually will be looking at is either inventory or some kind of loss of materials or equipment that might have been damaged. But again, it's on an individual basis and it has to come down to was the outage, outage caused by something that was within the company's control to prevent. According to HECO, the cause of the fire that started the outage is still under investigation, but they hope to wrap that up within the next 30 days. We're also looking as a company, what else we may be able to do outside of the claims process to support the businesses in Chinatown. For those who couldn't make it to the event, the Chinese Chamber of Commerce plans to offer more assistance. We are also looking at some fundraising options. We are having a Clean Up Chinatown Day on August 17th. We are constantly there trying to promote their businesses and making businesses viable so as to attract you know, more visitors as well as local people to come to Chinatown. If a complaint is denied and the business owner disagrees, they have the option to file a formal complaint with the Public Utilities Commission. Alina Lee, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.